trickle level. So therefore, Socrates asks, given this, he says, then what could love be? A mortal? Not at all, she said. What then? What could love be? Love, therefore, is between two extremes. Love is between two extremes. Now, in nearly all metaphysics, a mean analogy is the controlling element. It is the controlling element because any two things, whatever they may be, if there is any way in which they can be linked together, if there is any point about which they can be linked together, that linkage is a mean analogy. A is to, see, two extremes, A and C. That common area which they share we'll call B. Therefore, we can say A is to B as B is, oh, excuse me, as B is to C. So any two things in the universe that must be brought together in any way in which they can be said to be related, in any way they can be said to be combined, in any way they can be said to join into a synthesis presupposes a mean analogy. So quickly, let me sketch the structure of the model. And matter of fact, I can do it if I can get you to read. Thank you. Would you be so kind as to read? Thank Just you. as before then, between, look here, see, mortal <coughs> and the immortal. Now, when you do Plato, you create. You create and you fill in. You add to whatever it is you develop. We're creating a map an intellectual map. That's what we're doing right now. And it must keep on going for the entire dialogue. So, yes, I'll keep going. What is it then, Diotima? A great spirit, Socrates. For all the spiritual is between divine and mortal. That's the main term. The spiritual is the main term. Go ahead. What power has it, said I. See, we're getting the power of love in this model. All right, what is the power of love? Mm -hmm. To interpret and to ferry across to the gods things given by men. Two things go this way, all right, from men to the gods, so then we can put up here gods, men, mankind, right? And to men, things from the gods. Cool. From men, petitions and sacrifices. Right. Man always sends up petitions and sacrifices to the gods as equally the gods are sent to send back. Go ahead. And from the gods, commands and requitals in return. Right. Which is letting you off a command or letting you off uh, the petitions. Right, to requit, right? Commands, I tell you to do this and I'll now release you from that command as a requital. Right? I command you to do A, B, and C. Okay, that's enough. Requite it. Okay, go ahead. And being in the middle, it completes them. Right? It completes them. And binds all together into a whole. See, that's what the main analogy does. That's what it does. It binds it together into a whole. Through this intermediary, moves all the art of divination and the art of priests and all concerned with sacrifice and mysteries and incantations and all better translated sorcery and witchcraft. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. All right. A little bit more. For God mingles not with man, but through this comes all the communion and conversation of gods with men and men with gods. Therefore, gods are involved in a dialogue with mankind through the activities of these arts that pass through this great thing called love. That's the intermediary. Go ahead. 
both awake and asleep. Right. And he who is expert in this is a spiritual man. Okay, what's the list? The art of divination, the art of priests and priestesses. Right. And the, uh, it's actually uh, not sorcery and witchcraft, but... Um, yeah, that's true, that's true. All right, that's true. And all concerned with sacrifices, initiations. All right, do you have that? Sacrifice, Some. mysteries, incantations, all sorcery and witchcraft. Right. Look, the person who is the master of that, that's truly a spiritual person, and therefore they are standing, as it were, as the mean. They are then functioning as love is. Ah, now look here. That means, does it not, that if his teacher, Diatima, shows that she has been effective in divination, sacrifices, incantations, initiations, all of these things, then she is then, watch the term, she then can be said to be the personification, pulls all of those qualities within herself, therefore she can represent in herself the mastery of all of those arts. And that, if that's the case then, Socrates' teacher was the personification of all of those things brought together into a unity. Therefore she functions as the mean between these two extremes. Ah, good, good. All right, keep going. He who is expert in this is a spiritual man, but the expert in something other than this, such as common arts or crafts, is a vulgar man. So we'll put a little halo <laughs> right on her to indicate These spirits spiritual. are many and of all sorts and kinds, and one of them is love. Therefore, spirit, this, this entire region between man and the, the immortals or gods is a spiritual realm. And the person who can function that way through all of these arts, very high arts, that's called truly a spiritual person. They're functioning, therefore, in this way and completing it. When they complete it, therefore, the gods are able to have a dialogue with man through this kind of a figure. And the correct translation, I think, is shaman more? Shaman, shaman? yes, so rather than, than that's than true. Yes, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Now, excuse me. Does her name uh, mean anything? Well, uh, Tama is to uh, trust, and Dia sometimes is uh, one of the ways of translating the idea of God. So, a trust in God, Dia Tama. Dios, right? Dia, Dia. No, not deal, deal with All right, good. Now, all we need, all we need is uh, a risk, okay? Someone risk. Uh, what, what, what you, look here. You now have to come up with a theory. You now have to try to give an explanation of why there is love in the universe. You have to try. It doesn't make any difference. What you have to try. Now, we're going to put this back into this, you see. Now, whatever belief you have, it should be the kind of belief which should help us gain wisdom. So if you have a belief about the nature of love in the universe, but that kind of idea that you have is not the kind of belief that can allow you to reach that goal, then you are ignorant. 